don't want to be a vigilante in this. What I want is for the criminal justice system to work. Tonight, the mother of Michaela Miller is calling into question the actions of investigators over the last two weeks. This as hundreds let her know she is not alone. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Mark Ockerbloom. And I'm Vanessa Welch. Michaela's mom says there's a lack of urgency to find out what happened to her daughter. Boston 25's Wale Aliyu live in Hopkinton tonight. And Wale, you were at the rally today for Michaela. Walk us through the concerns her family has about the investigation into her death. Yeah, it's a complicated story, Vanessa. According to the evidence so far released by the DA, the DA believes that Michaela may have taken her own life. And at this 11 o'clock hour, as these candles out here remain burning, the family of Michaela Miller has burning questions. And they say they simply do not trust what the police and the DA are saying. She loved the ocean and can't think. Doing her best to hold it together, Calvina Struthers spoke in front of hundreds at a rally for her daughter, Michaela Miller, saying police harassed and lied to her family and friends. They were given the names of all five kids involved. And almost a week later, when I requested a copy of the police report, there was nothing on file or in the, in the Hopkinton police log. There was also no Hopkinton police log of the actual finding of Michaela's body. The DA says someone found the 16-year-old dead near her Hopkinton home on April 18th, the day after getting into a physical altercation. The family and the town now wondering if race played a factor in that altercation and her death. I was arrested at 19 years old. I spent 28 years of my life fighting a cover-up. So I want to say to you that corrupt happened. Part of the reason the DA suggested Michaela may have taken her own life was because of a cell phone that tracked her 1,316 steps into the woods where her body was found. I asked Struthers about that phone. Can you talk about a little bit about what happened right after she came home? That was something that was um, inaccurate. Um, my daughter, the phone that my daughter had on her person at that time was not an active cellular uh, phone. It didn't have cellular data, and the only way that it, it could work is if it was connected to Wi-Fi. The community, she no longer has Wi-Fi, therefore her steps can't be, cannot be counted, which I um, confirmed with Apple. And back out here, Michaela's mom also says the investigation, the investigators actually Googled the number of steps that Michaela took. It should also be noted tonight, Vanessa, that the cause of Michaela's death as of now has not yet been determined. So many unanswered questions still, Wale, and we know you did reach out to the DA, Hopkinton Police, and State Police about the allegations from Michaela's mom. Have you heard any response from them yet? Yeah, so uh, State Police got back to us, referred us to the DA, and the DA actually just sent us a statement just about an hour ago telling us that the victim's witnesses, the victim witness advocate rather, was in touch back on 419. So this would have been the day after her body was found. The DA went on to say that the steps on that phone, that was the controversial steps that the mom was talking about in that story, the DA says the steps came from the health app on her phone. So you got the little back and forth there, but this is a complicated story and a layered story that you know that we will continue to stay on top of, and the uh, public out here will make sure of that as well. And you know that Michaela's family and her friends, you just feel for them.